Road teams are 6-4 and four so far in the playoffs, Stephen A., including the Hawks, who beat the Pacers in Game 1 this weekend. Yeah. Critical, critical Game 2 tonight for the Pacers. What kind of pressure is on Indiana and Frank Vogel tonight? Immense pressure, because I think if they lose this game, they lose the series. Considering what we've seen from the Indiana Pacers over the last couple of months, there is no doubt they have to win game two, because if they go down 0-2 and have to go to Atlanta, I don't see how they can recover from that. And if they don't recover from that and win this series, I personally don't see Frank Vogel being able to keep his job. I'm a fan of his. I'm not saying he deserves it by any stretch of the imagination, but we have to remember, Kevin, that with Larry Bird, the old coach, Jim O'Brien, was his guy. Vogel was not necessarily his guy. He ultimately had to dismiss Jim O'Brien, elevated Vogel on an interim basis before he ended up taking over the job because he did such a good job. But when you lose a team like this, when you see such a precipitous drop in their quality of play, and there seems to have been no solution in sight, when the multitude of distractions have, have really permeated this roster, the way it has in the second half of the season. It simply would be inexcusable to lose this series. You can't go in as the number one seed playing a below 500 team that's squeezed into the playoffs and end up losing to Atlanta when Atlanta is looking like the better basketball team. I think desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm not saying you bench him because he can't play or anything like that. Roy Hibbert is formidable. But in this series, considering Atlanta's quickness and their perimeter play, you may have to find yourself benching Hibbert to go with a smaller lineup so you can stay with these Bulls. And that would be a huge surprise considering what we saw last year from Hibbert during the playoffs. So Stephen A. Smith saying this could be a job-saving series for Frank Vogel.